spring is in the air, a time traditionally when we reorganize our pantries, revamp our wardrobes, and revisit long neglected tasks on our ever growing to do list. But there are also other areas in life that could use some spring refreshers and can't be long neglected relationships. <laughs> uh, joining us now to uh, talk about it, relationship expert Monica Berg, author of Fear Is Not an Option Rethink Love, The Gift of Being Different. Uh, Monica, thank you, first of all, for being here. You have a formula uh, that you call uh, from me to we. Can you tell us about that and what the meaning behind it is? Yes, so everybody is destined for great love. That's the spiritual law. Like attracts like, that is the scientific law. And if you put them together, that's where the magic lies. So the four step process is like this. The first is to face your baggage. We are all a sum of our parts. We have a history of life experiences that make us who we are. Issues arise in relationships not because we're not familiar with our partner's stories, but we're not familiar with our own. So it's to be aware of who you are, why you are the way you are. Second is to tap into your authenticity. Most people think authenticity means to be honest, and certainly that's a part of it, but it also means to be genuine and therefore worthy of acceptance, and that part's key. Acceptance is knowing that you, as imperfect as we all are, we're a work in process, in progress, is to know that we are imperfect but still worthy of being loved. So we don't have to wait till we're thin enough, till we're smart enough, till we're successful enough. We are all worthy of acceptance. The third? Yep, no, please. <laughs> Find your credo. So a credo is knowing what you believe, and it's based on principles, opinions, of things that make you and direct who you are and how you live your life. So I wrote my credo when my second child was born. He was born with Down syndrome. And I was terrified, overwhelmed by all of those huge feelings at first. And then I realized that my credo was, in change, there's great power. And you can change your view of anything in your life experiences. And the fourth is to rethink everything. Our perceptions are powerful, and they're even more powerful when we direct them and we change them in the way that we want to. Um, it's also fascinating to hear, you know, for people out there that might be listening, they may be thinking this spring fling they have is not a fling at all. Something that is potentially, you know, long term, maybe even permanent in their minds. How can people tell if a relationship that they have is something beyond just short term? Well, there's many questions to ask yourself. I like to look for red flags, right? So when we start a relationship, usually we overemphasize the positive and we kind of neglect the negative. But you want to see everything. So for instance, if your partner and you're in a committed relationship now, they never speak about their ex, that could be a red flag. If they speak about their ex all the time, um, that could be a red flag too, right? So either never or always. Uh, if they never speak to their families, of course, there are many gray areas, but there's different indications along the way where you know if the person's the one. I think mostly imagine your worst day ever and think about how that person might show up for you. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty in good yeah. indication. Powerful. Well, all of that just sort of underscores the me to we thing. You've got to focus on yourself, but also take the time to look for those red flags. And uh, as you evaluate both going forward, uh, your partner and yourself, you can make a, a conscious decision that you think is right. Um, we really appreciate you being here, Monica. Thank you for your advice to all of our viewers at home. Uh, you can listen to Monica on her podcast, Spiritually Hungry, and her book, Fear is Not an Option, Rethink Love, uh, The Gift of Being Different, can be found in stores and online. We'll be right back.